Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning party. We're interrupting the intro. Hi, it's me from the future. So as you guys know, the vlogs are a little bit delayed. Right now, as you're watching this, Jamie and I are actually in Tennessee. And if you guys wanna see live updates from what we're doing and what's going on in Tennessee, follow us on Instagram, instagram.com slash snowdogsvlogs. I'll put a link down in the video description. We're trying to do some real time updates over there. Don't worry if you don't have Instagram. All the vlogs will be coming to this channel as well. But if you wanna see real time stories of what's going on, check us out over on Instagram, instagram.com slash snowdogsvlogs. Back to your regularly scheduled vlog. Somebody's extra, extra. Are you, you're like, oh my gosh, I am so spunky this morning. Look at that tail go. You wanted to play. Look at that smile. Hey guys, I feel pretty good today. I would like to play. You wanna play? She's like, I was playing with the puppy. I was jumping. Are you hungry? You ready for breakfast? Like, that's what I really want is some breakfast. All right, I'll get your girls fed some breakfast. Good morning, beautiful. Yes, yes. She's like, today is going to be a good day. Dang, I should have been recording as we opened the door, huh? See them girls going crazy? I didn't realize there was a squirrel on the ground and it went into the apple tree and then into the oak tree. <laughs> Here's Prancy Memphis. She says, guys, I feel pretty good today. You can see yesterday, Jamie took the fence down back here. Are you looking for that squirrel? She's like, ma, he was up here. Oh, and we had a big branch that we didn't realize snapped and broke out of this tree, but it was hanging up in there. So last night, Jamie pulled it down out of the tree to make sure that it doesn't kill any of the rest of the tree. But it was huge. He burned probably two thirds of it. And that's all that's left. So it was a huge branch. But yeah, we took the fence down because the birds are officially gone. They flew out of here and we haven't seen them since. So hopefully they made it once they left. These girls are, you're, you're, all of you, you're all kinds of feisty today. Like, yeah, we're super feisty today. It's really nice outside today. What are you doing, ma'am? You're going to dig a hole all by yourself? You're not even inspecting somebody else's hole? You're just going to come in here and dig your own? He's like, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. What you got down here? Is it down here? What's down there? Eleanor's like, here, let me show you. This is how we do it. Look out, she got throw dirt at you. I tried to warn you. Now you're all dirty. Look out, because she's still going to throw dirt at you if you sit right there. <laughs> you don't care? Oh, my goodness. You're adorable. You're adorable. Look at you. Look at all the dirt that she just threw on you. It's a good thing it just brushes off, because uh, you're extra dirty now. Memphis, we gotta shake the dirt off you before you go inside. <laughs> it's still on your butt. Look at your tail. It's all dirty. We got. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's right here too. Hey, let me help you out here. She's like, no, just go inside. You can't take all that sand inside, honey. I gotta brush it off you. Oh my goodness. Do you guys remember this? I feel like we haven't been in here in like a month. So I feel like every day I've tried to vlog this week, the neighbors are having a new septic or something put in. The other neighbor has been sanding his deck for what feels like a month. I feel like every time I go outside, it's loud. But uh, I'm in the RV right now. Those of you that may not know, we are going to Tennessee. We're leaving from the day I'm filming this. We're leaving in like four days to go to Tennessee for Jayco. We're going to the Jayco Home Show. Yes, I'm bringing the vlog. I will vlog as much of it as I can so you guys can see it. We're going to get to see a whole bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of things going on. Um, and as long as Memphis is still feeling okay, we're gonna go. We're kind of like on this, are we gonna go, or are we not gonna go? But she's doing really good today. She did really good the past two days. So I think we're gonna go. <laughs> we were gonna stay for an extra week in Tennessee. Now we're not. We're just gonna go for the week for the Jayco event, and then we're gonna come home. And then I think we're gonna go up north and go camping with my parents. That's the tentative plan anyway. So I am out here in the RV because we have a bunch of stuff we have to get ready. Hey look, there's my doggy first aid kit. So, I bought a bunch of stuff for the RV. I bought this, I have another. So I bought this Ryobi fan. It's supposed to be really hot in Tennessee. This one I like because it has the clip on it so we can also use it in the back of Jamie's Jeep. I have another one, a bigger one like this as well that we will be bringing that's battery operated or we can plug it in. It's just gonna help with the heat. As we've been looking at the weather down in Tennessee, it's supposed to be in the 90s. So we're just trying to be a little bit over prepared to make sure that we keep the dogs cool. My most, you know, the most important thing to me is to make sure that the dogs are cool. Yes, the RV has air conditioning, but we just want to make sure, like, we're going to have the fans, so when we're driving around in the Jeep, we'll be able to have those fans in the back of the Jeep and stuff like that. So we're kind of preparing for the heat. 
It's gonna be crazy. I can't believe we're going to Tennessee in August, but that's okay. <laughs> we will make it work. Oh, but what else did I buy? So I bought some little LED lights here and a little LED light here because it's kind of dark inside this pantry. Like it's not so bad now, but when at night it's kind of dark in here, you know, this is a dark color. So I'm going to put those lights in here and then that light is going to go. <laughs> this you can tell is darker. So when you open this, unless you open it all the way, you don't get a ton of light in here unless you have the back lights on. So I thought I would take this light, which it's a sensor light. It uses just batteries and I'm gonna put it up there so that when we open it up, I'll put it towards the front a little so the clothes don't block everything. But that way when we open this up, it'll be nice and bright in there. I like lights if you can't tell. So I'm gonna get to work on installing these while it's not a million degrees in the RV. All right, here is the before. And now, woohoo! There's the after. Super simple, super easy. And now I can see what's in there. It's not such a dark little corner. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, we have one in here too. Oh, that lights up nice. Beautiful. Perfect. And if you're wondering what I used, I don't usually use the stuff that comes with them because I feel like it never stays. I use these. They've always worked great for me. One set of these holds 16 pounds, so that's what I use. And they usually work pretty good. Okay, it's 80 degrees in here, and I don't feel like turning the AC on. So, we're done in here for now. I got some food getting ready to come out here. Got wipes, got the Starlink, got the Dyson. All right, let's get out of here. I will say I am ready to get back on the road. I was hoping we would get our replacement uh, hubcap from Coons RV, but pff, no, haven't gotten it yet. So I bet our friends at Jayco can get us one faster than the dealership can. <laughs> but I'm ready to get back on the road. A couple more days. Hey, Kira. <laughs> as soon as I turned the camera on, she's like, I'm not doing it anymore, Ma. You got a short leash on because you haven't been listening. She was trying to drag this big branch out to the front part of the yard. All right, get out of here. Leave the branches alone. Go on. I don't know if you guys can see this, but. There's a bird's nest on the side of the barn back here. I don't think there's any babies in it, but there's another bird's nest, not robins. So it's that house behind us that's getting all the work done. And the dogs are like, we're just gonna hang out in this corner because we know there's people over there. Maybe they'll come pet us. The neighbor dog's not out. Oh my God, Lenore, she's like, oh wait, somebody's over here now? Now he's doing some over here? So now it's not neighbor dog, it's the people working next door that the dogs are like, maybe we get, maybe if they could just see us, they would come pet us. Maybe that's what would happen. <laughs> Did you find dad's rake? They weren't sure what it was. It's just dad's rake. That's all it is. Whoa, good jump. Oh my goodness, they're bumping into you, Memphis. Get them, Memphis. You look like you're ready to get them. These two are just gonna rumble all day. All day, every day. You gonna play with them? Are you gonna do it? You gonna chase them? You thinking about it? Wanna get in on that fun? It's just like, no way, I'm going for the door. All right, we'll go for the door. Come on, Memphis, let's go. Go, 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 go. Good job. Look at me, Prance. Oh, fluffy land cloud. And then there's those two that are just crazy all the time. If it was sunny out, I'd open the pool up, but it's not that warm out. It was hot in the RV, but it's not that warm out today. What do you think? You wanna hang out by the pool for a little bit? Maybe later? Nah, I just would like to go back inside and sleep on my couch. How about you girls? You wanna go in? We'll come back out here in a little bit and play? Does that sound good? Yeah, I guess that's okay. <laughs> Although they still wanna see the people working back there. What do you think, Memphis? Should I turn that hose on? You know that puppy's trying to steal it from you? Maybe we'll wait till she walks back there again. What do you think? And here comes Kira. She was like, whoa, the hose is on. Water going in a baby pool. Just a little bit. So I don't want to open the big pool. You guys can play in here for a minute. Which I know all you're going to do is play with the hose. Look out, there's a bee. There's a bee. Away, bee. <laughs> all right, Kira. Here we go, Memphis. Here we go, Memphis. Yes. This is like, I love this pool. This pool is my favorite. I'm going to kick them out. Oh, oh, you found a water dish. Yeah, I just put fresh water in there, too. You can totally drink out of there instead of where these ones have put their dirty paws. <laughs> what are you doing, Kira? I like I'm drinking out of this hose. Oh, there's a bee friend. He doesn't want to leave us alone. I don't know what the deal is with that. Is that fun? 
All right, bee friend. We don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Memphis, you want in the pool? I'll kick these other dogs out. Yeah, get out of my pool, puppers. <laughs> Do you want me to get the bigger one? Is this one too small for you now? Uh-oh, Kira, did the bee get you? Oh, you just got a scratch, okay. Just a scratch. <laughs> Memphis says, I own this pool. Get out of my pool. Does that make you happy? Yeah, does that make you happy? You just want to put your feet in the water, huh? Really, most of today, we've been uh, getting stuff ready for camping. And then coming out here and hanging out for a little bit. And then going back in there and getting more stuff ready for camping. Because seven days in Tennessee, this will be the furthest... This will be the furthest trip, well, besides her coming to us from Colorado. It'll be the furthest trip we've taken with her. It'll be the furthest trip we'll take with the new RV. So we just want to make sure we have as much stuff ready as we can. Right, Memphis? Memphis is like, yeah, we got to be, oh, look at that tail. We got to be as ready as we can. You want to go for a ride? You want to go camping? She's like, heck yeah, I do. Let's go. Right, you crazy monkeys wrestling in the living room. Go full speed run! I don't think they're working back there anymore. And to the branch. Full speed run! <laughs> oh yeah, look, a little baby pool. How about you, Memphis? You know, full speed run as well? She's like, mm, I don't know, I might prance out here, but I don't know. Them two is crazy. Oh my gosh. Full speed craziness. Look out, Memphis! Oh, you're going to get in on this? You're going to get in on this? Oh, Kira's back in the pool. <laughs> Are you thinking about it? You seriously looked like you were thinking about it. She's like, I was thinking about it. Decided no. Oh, maybe she changed her mind. They're over there, Memphis. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> you know, if you guys jump up here and eat all of these apples, there isn't going to be any left. Memphis was just trying to reach one. Are you allowed to eat an apple right now? Come here, Memphis. No, it is it for Memphis. You already had one. No, you already had one. This one is for my Memphis. Come on, baby apple. There you go. Leave her alone. That's for Memphis. You got it. Take off with it. I'll make sure only you get to eat it, Eleanor. Don't you, Eleanor, hey, don't you take that from her. If she can bite it. <laughs> Yeah, you might not want it. It's probably not that great. She's like, mm, I don't know. Kira ate one, so they must be... Is it great? Kira and Eleanor both already had one. So I just wanted to make sure Memphis got one. She went back there looking. I'm like, fine. You're in between your medicine time. You can have an apple. I said, just one, no more. Yeah, I know. You said that last apple came right out of my hand. Just one, no more. Come on. Get out of here. I have to block off these trees if you keep eating the apples. Kira, did you get another one? She's like, yeah, but this one was on the ground, so it's not as good. <laughs> I turned my back for two seconds and you pull one off the tree. I gave you one. Come on, girls, let's go inside. Oh my goodness, come on. You got another one? Nobody's listening to me. I'm fighting the dogs to get him in the house. I might have to go get Jamie. I might have to go get reinforcements to get you all in the house. Give me that. Give me that apple. This is mine. Maybe you can use it to lure you inside. Maybe? Look, I have an apple. Come on. It'll be great. Come on. It'll be great. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Look, I have an apple. I have, oh, you're going to walk up for it and everything? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you're really happy about that, aren't you? Like, my, you could just, maybe you should drop that apple. Give it to me. Come on. You too. Let's go. We'll get the puppy in a second. She didn't realize I had it in my hand. Come on. Oh, here she comes. Everybody in. You're the smart one. Go, go. Kira says, nope, I'm going for another apple. Did it. You're all back inside. No more apples. You know what the worst thing is about your evening meds, Memphis? You can't have a good night treat. So you gotta wait like two hours after taking that before you can eat anything. That's why we're doing it at night, so go to bed. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this video right here. We go hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. I'm sorry, I can't give you a good night snack, so I won't tease you and tell you to go to bed. So. 
Good night, audience. Kira's hanging out right there in the dark. Can you see her? She's right there. Good night, audience.